Hi there, this is Andres with another Troop Report, and this time from a very exciting country, Peru. Uh, this is actually a roller coaster of a tour, it's quite an interesting one. It has everything, uh, it has a ton of culture, um, it has beautiful sites, historical sites. Um, it is a roller coaster in terms of all the elevation that we cover from the high Andes down to uh, the Amazon and the huge rivers that we have there in the Amazon. Um, it's a very interesting place to uh, a tour to take different types of transportation to uh, get our target birds. We uh, take trains, we take cable cars, we take uh, paddle canoes, we take motorized canoes, we take planes. Well, it's, it's a very interesting interesting tour in terms of ecosystems. We go from jungle the way to high Andes. Um, it's, it's a very diverse tour. We go through the cloud forest as well, of course. This is the famed Manu Road. Uh, this trip particularly was a very, very nice trip. We had a great um, group of participants, for instance, uh, with very experienced ones, with uh, over 7,000 birds on their uh, life list, and they got about 50 lifers, which was a great thing for them. <laughs> and we had some others that uh, were starting their international travels with a bang in this particular tour, for instance. Um, yeah, this tour basically covers it all. Let's get right on to it. So um, just to put you on the map, this is Peru, as you can see here. And we just covered the southern part of Peru, all right? In the southern part of Peru, is where I'm gonna zoom in just now. We started the tour with a flight from Lima to the city of Cusco, all right? And uh, Cusco is uh, very dry, but it is also very high. The uh, mountains surrounding Cusco are home to a bunch of endemic birds that are unique to these areas, despite it looking quite dry and um, desolated. And uh, we have several endemics just around uh, Cusco, like this mountain finch and the Sierra finch. We also had a few uh, canasteros, bearded mountaineer, and um, a green and white hummingbird as the endemics of this, uh, of this area. So day one was a flight, uh, and we did kind of this loop here. Uh, we birded a lake called Huacarpay and went back to Cusco. But then the next day we went and it started the ride through the famed Manu Road after a very interesting breakfast that we had in a hotel in Cusco with a lot of Andean food. We headed towards the high Andes where we got things like these Cotingas. And this particular one is an awesome bird, the golden colored Tanager, one of the most um, beloved of the, uh, for the group. Hooded mountain Tanagers and black uh, face brush finches are a common throughout the place and we start getting some specialties like this mustached uh, flower piercer and uh, and that our first stop was white Quecha lodge as you can see in here and this is one of the uh, mornings well the only morning that we had at white Quecha lodge because we didn't have the one night and you can see in the background there the feeders and behind the valley where the manu road goes through this is what i'm telling you Okay, that's the valley that you were looking at. And then the second day we started heading down uh, through that valley and the first bird that we actually got was this beautiful Yungas Pigmeow. It's a beautiful bird, eh? Uh, the feeders are what Keicha before heading down the cloud forest. I uh, held uh, grass green tanagers and a couple other things. Um, and then we got this chestnut crested Cotinga, which was a, a, is a rarity, and uh, white colored jays are around. Same with uh, bantail fruit eaters, bar fruit eaters, a bunch of different things. We got golden headed quetzals, crested quetzals. This ride, we went down the, uh, the cloud forest and uh, nailed things like slate tanagers, speckle face parrot. Uh, but we got into a little bit of trouble because they were building up the road. They were actually paving the road and we got stopped in many places. But happily, we managed to get in between the stops to a couple of feeders where we got a bunch of cool birds, a bunch of tanagers, blue banded toucanet. Um, we got uh, versicolor barbets and saffron crown tanagers. 
we were actually very lucky that in between all these stops that we had to do, like, I mean, we couldn't help them, we managed to be in a couple of new um, spots that are these uh, feeders. Uh, like this one here is called the Manu Magic, and uh, the owner uh, plays a song for the birds just before he puts the food out for the birds every morning. So that's a cool experience. The next day in the cloud forest, we started with the Andean Coco de Rock uh, Lek. And then we got a couple of more obscure birds around there. I was very happy with this lady gnat eater. And we also got uh, cerulean cap mannequin and a few common birds like silver beaks and uh, golden ears and uh, orange ear tanagers. Um, yeah, our time in uh, the cloud forest was really, really good. But then we started descending down the hill on the same Manu road down to what used to be called Villa Carmen, which now is called Manu Biological Station. And the first morning that we were there, it actually started with a very strong rain, which was pretty annoying. However, once the rain stops and the birds dry out, they become really, really uh, active. And we visited these other set of feeders in the areas where he gave us these uh, barbets that are super cool. But we got a ton of different birds, barbets, tanagers, guans, chachalacas, darknesses, um, hummingbirds that were particularly great with saber wings, hermits, jewel fronts, uh, emeralds. And uh, the most important one for me was this one, the buff-tailed sickle bill, what a bird. Apart from the feeders, we had to work for birds already. And then the, the ant birds are a big group that are present around here with black throat, white line, white browed, bamboo antrike, white uh, shoulder, uh, sorry, no, gold is uh, ant bird is there. And uh, all the things that we see by birding around include like fine barpiculate, blue headed macaws. This was a big target, the yellow crested tanager. Um, yeah, we got uh, non-lids, uh, red-bellied macaws, uh, blue shrunk jacamars, a ton of different stuff in this particular area. Um, and then we, after spending three nights in um, the area, we started doing this long drive. And uh, normally we take a boat through this river, but this time we managed to take the car all the way to Bocamano, which is about there. And then we only took the boat for a shortish time into Manu Wildlife Center. And also in the lowlands, we visited uh, Tambo Blanquillo. These two areas are lowland, lowland Amazon. In lowland Amazon means a lot of walking on trails and also using the canopy towers to explore the canopy of the um, uh, rainforest of the Amazon, right? It's quite an experience. Uh, this is an interesting type of transportation we used to go inside Tambo Blanquillo and this catamaran to go around the Oxbow Lakes where we got, uh, for instance, Poodle Jacamars, we got Varsa Chiforins, we got Hoatzins. And then the forest itself held a bunch of different things like crested owls on a roost. We were lucky with a nest of uh, masked tyra and we managed to get those beautiful views. But then we got canopy species, of course, uh, like red neck woodpecker and the, um, and, uh, the euphonia before. Um, the Oxbow Lakes got giant otters and uh, the bottom of the uh, forest got these beautiful anthroshes, black face and rufous capped anthroshes. The uh, fourth barber of the tour, just before we went one of these days to this clay lick. So we are in this blind that it is pretty large and we have to be there really early so the people of Tango like Kijo serve as breakfast there while we look at the wall that you see in the front there while we eat some very nice and tasty pancakes and we get these uh, beautiful macaws. These are red and green macaws that we see there. They are very, very cool. Normally we see hundreds. Ha Sadly, uh, I have to say, this particular time, it was a little disappointing. There was not too many individuals, but we still had a great time there to end our time in the lowland Amazon. And then we had to do a long ride. First boat ride, all the way down here, but I'm gonna speed it up. And then we took pickup trucks, we changed into a car and then into a van and finished up in Puerto Maldonado. From there, we took a plane back to Cusco, all right? And then from Cusco, we explored 
this time the uh, areas surrounding Ollantaytambo. And this is the ride that we did the afternoon after we took the flight towards Ollantaytambo, where we met again our wonderful driver, Daniel. And he took us through very scenic roads, arriving into our hotel in Ollantaytambo uh, fairly late. But then the next day, we visited a very high Andes location. Look at this, look at this topography. This is uh, the areas that we buried at about 14,000 uh, feet, getting a bunch of endemics like unstricted uh, tyrant, inca, ren, mark about the spine tail, uh, Cusco, brush finch, a bunch of different things. We even got some speeders, <laughs> some llamas that are around in the area. And then the uh, polylepis forest hailed for us a uh, tonitid spine tail and this stripe headed anpita. And we finished the day with this beautiful white top. That something. The next day we took a train now from Ollantaytambo to Aguascalientes to visit this iconic and incredible location, Machu Picchu. The area of Machu Picchu is uh, beautiful, it's incredible, it's a great uh, place to be but it's not a lot of birding in the very site but you can see that it is surrounded by, by cloud forest, that it is a bit youngish youngest uh, type of forest that holds things like oscillated piculate, Gould's Inca, um, uh, there is a bunch of Andean monuments in the area, uh, some rarities like oleaginous hemispingus, uh, and then the river the, uh, that runs just under Machu Picchu holds a bunch of uh, life and we got particularly uh, great views of torrent dogs doing a weird and prolonged display in front of our cameras and in front of binoculars. We were really happy with this. It was interesting, it was a couple of males doing a display. But then our time is over. We just headed back to Cusco and we took a flight to Lima. And just before finishing the tour, we had some bonus birding. Uh, down in the south of Lima, we visited the area of Pucusana and we did a boat ride around this tiny islet where we got another endemic, the surf synclotis, uh, black joyster catchers, we got a bunch of guanai uh, cormorants and uh, humble penguin that cost us a little bit to see and um, it made us do uh, two loops to the island and then we got the most beautiful turn in the world, Inca turn. So yeah, we finished the tour, just headed back to uh, Lima and uh, yeah, it was just a time to remember all the moments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.